Hi, I'm Alicia from UMark, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cutout using the UMark Gem CX machine. To set up your machine for cutting, use your double-sided tape and stick your sacrifice sheet to your flatbed table. Then use more tape to stick your sheet of metal to your sacrifice sheet in order to hold everything down. Then make sure you use your precious metal cutter and your brass knob for cutting. To create a cutout inside of your Gem CX software, you'll start by clicking on New Drawing. Make sure your machine mode is in flatbed, and then you'll put in the dimensions of the sheet of metal that you're going to cut. Then push OK. To put the text inside of the white box, you'll click on Text and go to Standard Text Composer. Then click in the white space. Then you'll type in what you want the engraving machine to cut and then click on your font choices and choose from the drop-down list. Then click OK. To resize the text to the correct size, you can either choose Resize Objects and pull the boxes, or the small drop-down menu next to it, and you can choose to make your height and width a certain amount. Once you've figured out the size of your text, you'll then want to kern the letters together by pushing K on your keyboard and then clicking in between the letters to bring them closer together. Once your letters are a good distance apart, you'll push Escape, and then you have to create a toolpath for the cutter to go around in order to create the cutout. Make sure that you click on the outside Leave the tool diameter at one millimeter and push OK. Then, to make sure you have the right cut, if you click on the blue and push delete, you'll see what the cut is going to look like. If we don't like the way it looks, we can undo it and then fix what we want to fix. By pushing on K, I'm back in the kerning process, and by holding the shift key down, I can move the letters a little bit further apart. Then push escape. Go back to single tool path on the outside and click OK. Then you should have a nice clean cut. If everything looks OK, you'll go up to production and you'll go to engrave and you'll choose the gold cutting setting. You'll then unlock the keypad and change the depth to the thickness of your plate. Once you've done that, you can push OK and OK. Once your engraving job is made in your software and sent through to your machine, you're going to push the Start Stop button. The first light that will appear is the position that will be directly in the center of your engraving space. You'll then push Start Stop again and the surface light will come on. You will push the Z Down button until the cutter is close to the surface. Then use your micro jog function to put the carbide cutter slowly onto the surface of the metal. Once you're there, you'll use your engraving lubricant and put a small drop near the cutter, and then push start. Once your cut is complete and you pop it out of your metal, you can finish it as needed, and then you have a beautiful cut. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us. Mm -hmm.